I didn't see you there I was eating strawberries Now watch a moron compared to Tailwind Component Libraries Oh yeah Oh yeah Welcome back to Coding Goblin. There are a lot of Tailwind CSS component libraries out there, but which one should you use? Which one's the best? And most importantly, which one pays me the most money to talk about them? That was a joke, but in all seriousness, I am willing to do unethical things for money. <clears throat> Tailwind UI, or as it's more commonly known, the big dog, versus Tailkit, or as it's more commonly known, Tailkit. Today, we are gonna compare these two Tailwind component libraries. And more specifically, we're gonna compare the hero components. Ooh, hero. When you think of a hero, you think of Superman, Batman, Coding Goblin, Ant-Man, and Spider-Man, of course the classic heroes of our generation. But in this scenario, we're gonna be talking about heroes from a Tailwind perspective. Tailwind. It's gonna be so much fun. We will, of course, at the end of the video, be rating each of the libraries based on their heroes using the internationally recognized website scoring system. Internationally recognized website scoring system. System, system, system. So, without any more waffle, let's just get into it. Tailwind UI. We all know it, we all love it. Or do we? Yes, we do. Hero sections. Let's just have a little look at what we've got going on here. What's nice, what's not nice, what we think is good, what we think is not good. Spoiler alert, it's all good. <laughs> So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because it's hard to actually see what you're looking at here. So this is their simple centered hero. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. This is actually one of the few things that I have a bit of a problem with, with Tailwind UI. I love most of Tailwind UI. I think it's an amazing product and I 100% recommend it. This version of the hero, I'm just not a fan of. I don't like this gradient cloud effect thing. I just don't like it. And I know that is personal preference, but I think if you're gonna use that, you have to have that sort of theme running through your website. You don't have to, but it makes sense to. So it's quite, I guess it's quite opinionated about how the rest of your website's gonna be. So if I had to be critical and completely honest, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. That's their simple centered hero. And for me, a simple centered hero should at least have an option of just being one solid color. They're probably gonna have that, aren't they? Though, okay. It should, just le it should have the option of just being a primary color um, but for some reason it's got that. And I know you can adapt it easily. I do get that, but you don't understand how lazy I am. I just want to copy and paste it and maybe change two classes at most. And I just want to be done with it. But if I'm going to use that and I'm going to change it, I have to probably change. Maybe I actually only have to change two classes, but I don't want to have to change any classes, basically. So that's my opinion on that. Now let's have a look at Tailkit. I'm already on the hero page here. Um, so I'm gonna try and find a similar looking one. That one looks similar. Subtle gradient and header links. Similar, very similar. Now, I think I prefer this. I think I prefer this. It's a different type of gradient, I know. It's, we're not comparing like for like here. We're not doing any sort of good quality comparison. <laughs> no one said this was gonna be good quality. So if you came here looking for 
a really in-depth, high-quality comparison of tail width, tail width, tail width, of tail kit and tailwind UI. I suggest you continue watching the video to the end. Click subscribe, click like, and go and tell all your friends to watch it, and also like and subscribe. And then get on with the rest of your day. Okay, that's all I can suggest to you, if that is what you are looking to find. So, this is nice, simple, it's quite bold, it's quite in your face. When I look at it, I'm, I'm like, that. And I think it's because the title is a bit larger. It's more, I want to say cartoony, but it's not cartoony. It's more, it's less corporate, is what I'm going to say. It's less corporate, it's more fun. It's got a more fun vibe to it. And if I go back to Tailwind, this is more corporate for me. And I think what it is, it's the font boldness and the spacing. It's, it's so weird, it's hard to explain, but I think you'll agree with me. This is more fun than this one. So this is Tailwind UI and this is Tailkit. So, so far, comparing those two heroes randomly, even though they're not the same, I prefer Tailkit, but that one is perfectly usable. Just for me, I would have to make a couple of adjustments to this cloud gradient thing. I just spat all over my laptop. Um, okay, so that's my thoughts on that. This one, Tailwind UI, that's nice. That is nice. But I'm starting to realize something. That's also quite an opinionated style, isn't it? This kind of grid behind. It looks very nice and it's nice having, this works better with this shadow thing because it's more of a highlight. It's more of a, it's almost like a torch shining on a wall. That looks amazing actually. But if you've got a lot of people using that, it's gonna be very obvious, isn't it? If you've got a thousand websites all with this same hero, it's gonna be pretty obvious that they're not unique. So let's go and have a look at Tailkit and see if they've got something similar. Basically, that was a screenshot, wasn't it? I know it doesn't have to be a screenshot, but no, they don't really have anything that would be considered that similar. Mm, maybe that. It's just an image though. That's quite standard, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? It's because I'm... I just need to zoom out. There we go. Um... Yeah, not a comparison because they're, they're very different. But that's nice as well. And they've used this nice effect here. And you can probably swap out these. I'm guessing they're SVGs behind. Don't quote me on that. Maybe someone who's actually um, used this hero for themselves can give some insight in the comments as to whether you can change that. You can change it because you can change anything, but how easy that is to change is what I mean. Gosh. Right, okay. We need a bit more structure here. We need a bit more structure. Let's just have a look. I'm gonna pick out what one I think is the nicest one from each, and then we're just gonna compare, and then we'll make a judgment, and we'll rate which has the better heroes. So, this is tail kit. These all look very standard. I tell you what, I was having a look at that one. Let's quickly look at this one. I, I'm not saying this is my favorite one, but I was having a look at this, was I having a look at this one? Yeah, this one earlier, and watch what happens when you hover your cursor over these images. Ooh, did you see that? They move. <laughs> it was actually a lot better than I did before, I thought it was gonna. Subtle, subtle. That isn't my favorite one, but it's just quite interesting, isn't it? Um, it's quite difficult because a lot of the reasons that make something good or likable is to do with the images that have been used. Like for example, I'm not really a fan of that image in this subtle gradient box one. Whereas this one looks quite good. Uh, that's quite nice. That's got a background image. I think this one maybe it obviously depends what you're looking for in a hero and what your requirements are but for me 
I just want it to look like someone who has an actual functioning brain has designed it and nice call to actions and yeah just clean and something that I wouldn't be able to do is the gist of it so that's quite nice simple I like simplicity and I think that's why I'm not too much of a fan of the Tailwind UI one with the cloud behind it so I'm gonna say this one is my favorite one for now if that's what I was looking for simple um, and we've got the Tailwind UI ones see that's just the same as that one but but light is it I think yeah nice very nice I'm not too much of a fan of this kind of background thing here. I may, I think maybe the, the colours could be better. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. I, I love Tailwind UI, but I've never really given it too much of a critical look. I like that. I like that. That's simple. I don't normally go for centred heroes with a background image, but I, I like that. Not a fan, really, because of the cloud. Also got it. Do you know what? I, I loved the previous version of Tailwind UI. We, maybe we have a look at that, actually, if they've got them. That's quite simple. That's quite simple. That's nice. I don't know if I'd have that on a... Probably wouldn't have that as a homepage hero. Probably have that on a different one. Let's look at the archived ones because this was what they were, I think, when I first got Tailwind UI, potentially, and I actually loved them. They look dated now. They look dated, but I've got a website with this exact hero on it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I don't know why. I'm just not going to. Um, use that one as well. You might recognise, actually, some of them if you've actually checked out any of the websites that I've ever mentioned. This one, for example. See, I like these ones. I much prefer these ones. All, all of them. I like this SVG. I'm guessing it's an SVG pattern stuff. So I'm going to include these ones because this is actually my favourite one, I think. Here, maybe. I don't know why I like that so much. Why do I like it? Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, this one here. So, that's very nice. And what's the difference between the two of them? See the similarities? It's little touches that I would never think to do, like this little badge type thing here and these buttons. Like, making the buttons like that. I just wouldn't do that because my brain just can't compute how to do that. I know that's quite pathetic but it's true I just can't so out of those two I just I just think they're both really nice I, I like a lot of the Tailwind UI ones but there are the ones with the cloud like I mentioned I'm not a fan of um, so I'm gonna probably say I'm leaning towards preferring this one I think it depends what image you're gonna use but I think there's just something about the bold font. It just seems more playful. This is a bit more playful than the new Tailwind UI heroes. I think I like the boldness. It seems less corporate. I think that is my overall problem with the new ones. They seem corporate. Whereas this isn't. I think it's these patterns as well. So I'm gonna rate these two particular heroes. This one from Tailwind UI, this one from Tailkit. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can actually see it. Uh, made no difference. First, we'll go with Tailwind UI. I like these little button things. I like the idea of putting these logos here. I like that there's a form here. I like it. It's simple and I like this pattern. So, this Hero from Tailwind UI gets a score of eight ferrets. Well done.
Well done, Tailwind UI. Eight ferrets, that's a high score, a high and competitive score. Now let's have a look at Tail Kit. This hero, again, I like that it has something here that I wouldn't have thought to do. That is a bonus. I like that it's got a bit, I like that it's got a pattern behind the image. That's actually a pattern in its own right. I like patterns behind things. That's what I'm noticing. That's got the pattern. That's got a pattern. I like the patterns. So that's good. And I like these simple buttons. So, based on that, oh, and also I like the weight of the font. I like it. I like it and I like the spacing. It's less corporate. To sum up this video, I don't like corporate, I do like patterns. But anyway, I need to give a score to tail kit for this hero. So, based on all the things I just said, oh okay, I like those buttons as well. Tail kit gets a score for this hero of 8.5 ferrets. Whoa! 8.5! 8.5! That's half a ferret higher than Tailwind UI. Can you believe that? Can you believe I've rated a hero from Tailkit higher than Tailwind UI? Do you know how much I love Tailwind UI? Do you actually understand? Have you seen my reviews for Tailwind UI? It's actually a bit embarrassing. It is probably the best thing I've ever bought, is what I've said multiple times in that video. So that's very high praise for tail kit, if I think that this hero is better than all the heroes on Tailwind UI. Very high praise indeed. And I mean it, and I genuinely mean it. Make of that what you will. I will be leaving links to both Tailwind UI and tail kit in the description below, so you can check them out if you want to. If you don't want to check them out, don't. Do what you want. So that is that. Anything else need mentioning? Uh, oh, no, the end. Oh no, ah yeah, tailwind. I didn't see you there, I was eating the strawberries. You just watched me compare two component libraries Oh, I didn't see you there, I was eating the strawberries You just watched me compare two tailwind component libraries Two libraries, oh yeah, oh Two component libraries, baby. Oh yeah, you just watch me, you just watch me. I didn't see you there. I was eating strawberries. You just watch me compare to component libraries. I didn't see you there. I was eating strawberries. You just watch me compare to tailwind component libraries. Ant-Man?